Congratulations. Congratulations. You Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut out right. the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bell. Welcome to Heat Wave. It's the Kids in Sync of a podcast. Sometimes about kids video in games. Sync. Kids <laughs> in the sink. Is that what you just said? Yeah, that's what it sounded like you said, and I was eh. amused by that. Well, I'm joined with Brittany Saturn. Oh, I just thought of a new topic. Yeah. Oh, did you bring the dick of- Okay, cool. Well, you can tell us later what is when it? it's your turn. Brittany, tell us. Brittany, what is it? It's yeah. what is the worst song to be covered by Kids Bop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's going to be fun. That's perfect. Yeah. So everyone well, think about it. it. Now we have to do it. Now we have to do it. Oh, God. Over that means I'd have to listen to Kids Bop. Yes. You don't have to. You can just look. You don't have to. Look, all you have to do <laughs> is look at the titles Hutch. and know. I just like no. I have to listen to Kids Bob. <laughs> <God. laughs> um, We're gonna come back next week and Hutch is Doctor Kids Bob, having <laughs> listened to all of every Kids Bob everything that has ever existed. I love it. Um, uh, and as you can tell, I'm welcome to Heat by, Wave. I'm joined by Jarris <laughs> Mitchell and Chris. It's Hutch Hutcherson over the internet. Man, it's a hot one. <laughs> Start with Santana. What? That's <laughs> it's in seven the, inches. Is from it a hot one sun. in the internet yes. or in your house? Because if it's in your house, you should turn down the heat. The, but if what? it's in the internet, I think the internet's overheating, and that's terrifying. Yeah, I, I, you- I would hope that the heat's not on in my house while it's eighty-seven degrees outside. <laughs> Did you guys know, know that um, good pussy smells like the heat from the back of a PS4? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that Lana Del Rey's pussy tastes like Pepsi Cola. I knew that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I have no segues for this. So I don't what's your have topic? Any, I don't have any uh, pussy smells or flavors that I'm aware of uh, in, in like enlightening information here well you better get with it you know what jaris <laughs> just tell us what the fuck we're talking about today today we're gonna talk about which song would be the worst thing for kids bop to cover <laughs> holy shit did he just t- com- he just hijacked my he just thing. completely <laughs> like, yeah, the haters <laughs> what are you doing what now are you i gotta look up songs that yeah kids i was gonna look it up during the break but so ah! Um, are we are we considering every song that they have done, or considering every song every that song they could do? Every song in the do? universe. Okay, since what, the beginning of time. Okay, so the worst one would probably be um, Shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> they did that. I'm pretty sure they did that. I don't hey, I think a... that we can top that one, but we'll see. Let's see. I'm looking up a kids' bops uh, <laughs> it was song me. list. Uh, I, so. Obviously, like any of the raunchy songs. So uh, I would like to read to you uh um, from the uh, lyrics of the Kids Bop version of TikTok by Kesha. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's hear that. I definitely wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses and I'm out the door. (laughs) I'm going to tour this city Mm -hmm. before I leave. Brush my teeth, scrub them nice and clean, because <laughs> when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. <laughs> I'm talking pedicure kidnapped? on our toes, trying on all the clothes, clothes. I could see. Friends I calling could see all the phones, up. phones. Belly flopping, playing our favorite CDs. This Going sounds like a kid's birthday song. parties, about to get a little dizzy. Don't stop, make it rock. DJ, blow my candles out. <laughs> Tonight, I must sight the sunlight. Tick tock on the clock, but the fun don't stop. You know. Oh, 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 oh. 
All right, I've got one for you. I've got one for you. This one, just imagine kids ain't singing. got a care in the world. God damn it, Jersey! We get the memo. Ain't got no money in the pocket because I'm already here. Now the kids are lining to see all the presents, but they kick them to the side unless they look like daggers. What the fuck does that even mean? It doesn't. Uh, you know. But here's the thing, Kids Bop usually slightly changes the lyrics. Yeah, he is reading lyrics from a Kids Bop song. Oh! Yeah. I thought that's it was just the real... Kesha song. No, no, that's the, you know the song TikTok. Yeah, but it's like, uh, yeah, that makes sense, because Mick Jagger is not Dagger, whatever looking like a Dagger is. I don't Mick know what nothing. That It's fucking nothing. It's just no wordy dirds. So, Brittany, I'm not going to steal your thing. Now we're just going to talk about kids bop for a little bit and how it's a fucking crime against art <laughs> so i wonder how they get i guess they get rights to these songs yeah definitely, well, definitely. I, I wonder if it's covered under like parody oh yeah hmm. so so uh, a lot it of, might be a because they times, do the lyrics change yeah yeah let me quickly email our lawyer Oh, there you so, go. So there's a. I clicked on. I went to kidsbop.com uh-huh. and they're up to 40 now. 40 uh, albums? Yes. Okay. Uh, and their latest album had Truth Hurts by Lizzo on it. Perfect. And they changed it to um, I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm a 100% that kid. <laughs> Of course. That, well, that's the <laughs> lamest thing. Yeah. And you you could have oh, had like... a good friend, non committal. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I, I'm just reading it right I now. I went so. the opposite route. I went and looked for a song that would absolutely never be a kids' bop song, <laughs> and I just want you to imagine kids singing this. This is "Runaway" by Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> See, fine. A pictures. damn fine song. It's a really great song, but I'm just going to give you one snippet and just imagine how they would change it. See, finds pictures in my email. I sent that picture, uh, bitch, a picture of my dick. <laughs> I don't know what it is with females, but I'm not too good at that shit. See, I could have me a good girl and still be addicted to them hood rats. Mm-hmm. And I just blame everything on you. At least you know it's what I'm good at. And I just want you to just imagine how they would turn that into a <clears throat> kid's pop song. <laughs> just that one little bit. Yeah. I mean... The, I mean, the chorus is like... Dick to l- l- cat? Yeah. Took like a some picture sort of, of my pet? cat? Okay, yeah. Um, so we have to rhyme cat now with the next one, because he's not too good at that shit. Well, uh, so you know it might be... At it? Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> so, um, I just recently um, realized, uh, like, the whole premise of behind Heya... Is that it's um, about um, a couple that's trying to make a relationship work and it's not working. Okay. Um, and it looks like the lyrics are pretty unchanged for the kids' pop version of it. It's, it's really weird. They just they just tamed it down. Probably like if there was well, there's not too. I can't think of too much dirty words in. Hey, yeah. It's a the, pretty the, clean song for what it was. The the subject matter is a little. More mature oh, sure than I figured they would cover. Not so much the wordy nerds. Oh, that's usually all they give a shit about, though. It's so weird. <clears throat> Kids Bob did cover um, Heartless. By Kanye West? Yeah. That's a, a wild that's choice. <laughs> that is a very wild choice. Now, I love that song, but whoo, I'm kind of curious what the lyrics are like. Are you looking well, at those? I am looking at them, but I don't really remember the original, so if you want to take a look yeah, at yeah. it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll trade phones with you. Um, Yeah, it's just, well, also, you have to consider, like, so they changed these songs, but it's also, like, a chorus of children singing about these things. Yeah. So it's just something about that just creeps me out. And yeah. I imagine that it's never like <clears throat> kids who want to hear these. It's always like parents who are like, you can listen to this. Because I remember buying a lot of, um, now that's what I call music uh, as a kid. And I hated all of those songs because they, they, it was like the radio edit. I wanted like all of the bad words in the song. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that was like, I still bought it because it was the best way to get like the hits all on one CD instead of buying like each individual artist CD. Um, but I was like, I remember being annoyed that like, man, I wish they said damn or I wish they said shit <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> There can, is, can I say there, on a side note that now is up to 105? Oh, albums. I thought it was 40. <laughs> oh, my oh God. no. Just oh, there's kidding. y'all. Genius.com has mm-hmm. Kids Bop listed as an artist, so you can pull the lyrics for all of their things. And wow. I'm looking at Old Town Road. Oh, boy. And uh, it marks when it's changed from the original version. Oh really? Yeah, so that's really fucking useful. That yeah. is really. For example, useful. in verse com? two of Old Town Road, riding on my tractor, riding on my bladder. What? Riding <laughs> on my bladder was changed from lean all in my bladder because we don't want to endorse consuming crime drugs. <laughs> But the weird shit is the next line, cheated on my baby, you can go and ask her, is unchanged in the Kids Bop version. I don't, I don't, I can't. This is so fucking weird and bizarre. (laughs) It's, it's, it gets weirder. So bull riding and boobies is a line following Mm. that. And they changed it to bull riding and bougie bougie <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah i don't know so doesn't <clears throat> doesn't have to make sense the kids don't care so i got really confused one day and i was watching tv and a commercial came on but and i thought it was for, i thought it was a kids bop commercial but it was just cars for kids <laughs> commercial and i for the longest time, I put them together as the same thing. I Cars for kids? Yeah, like it's because the commercial is always like shitty with the course. Uh, I don't know what does you Does anyone mean? else know what she's talking no. about? You guys mm-hmm. never heard Cars for Kids? No. Nope. 800 no. Cars for Kids. It's a really shitty fucking jingle. <laughs> No. Okay, well. Who's selling cars I, I, to children? I don't want kids, kids on the road. Kids can't drive. <laughs> There's a fucking weird charity thing called Cars for Kids. I don't know. <clears throat> well, never mind. If anyone uh, knows what I'm talking about, <laughs> fucking leave a comment so I don't feel so bad. Uh... <laughs> Nobody leave a comment. No, I mean, last time someone did leave a comment and... Uh, that was nice. Thanks, that one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, great. Until, I know, until I know we're doing this podcast for me and all of you, like, it's for us. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is just, this is about we. We don't need to put any structures on it. I'm looking for a Kanye West song on the genius I wonder, uh, like, whose job it is to go in and change these lyrics. Do you think it's, like, a team of bet, people, or do you think it's, like, one person? I bet it is a very bloated team. I bet there are, like, 30 people on that team, but only one of them actually does work. Yeah. Oh, and no, the rest no, no. of them just, like, go to meetings. <laughs> no, excuse me. You're 100% right, except none of them do any work, and they hire a contractor. One contractor who mm. does all of it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They're they're more strategic. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to hear? Let's look at the kids' bop version of All Star. Oh boy, that's I'd probably never... the same. Uh, yeah, it's mostly there's... the same. It's it, yeah. That one was pretty pretty tame as it. It is. seems like they don't really care that much about the meaning of the song. They care more right. about the words because yeah. they've covered some like weird songs. It's like. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't give a fuck. Kids can listen to whatever they want to. But if you're going to make an album that's specifically censored for children, (laughs) some of the songs they pick are strange. The weirdest. I think they did this one. I might be having a fever dream and be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure that they did Nickelback's Rockstar. (laughs) And that's just a fucked up song to do for kids because it's literally about having a coked out binge. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Do you guys know that they've been doing tours since 2014? What? Who's doing these tours? What? <laughs> There's a Kids Bop 
tour? I just assumed that the chorus was just like random children they found on the street. And they were like, you want five dollars? <laughs> hey, this- kid, you want to make five dollars? <laughs> Come up to the studio <laughs> and you sing star. these songs. <laughs> but I guess they're like a group of kids, like a pop group, like, my name's Andy, or whatever. Some like, weird Mickey Mouse bullshit. Yeah, they just come out like, this is what I do. In Uptown Funk, they changed, I'm too hot, hot yeah, or hot damn, to, I'm too hot, hot yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, hot I've, yeah. I've, hot yeah. <laughs> I found an article from Time Magazine. <laughs> I feel like what? Okay, uh, it's the top five most uncomfortable kids' bop videos, and I think we should just put a link <laughs> a link to this in okay. the description because we can't watch them now. But apparently, it's just like the videos themselves are very cringy. Okay, like they're they mm. covered "So What" by Pink, and it says. Uh, what makes us squeamish is the near demonic giddiness smeared across her awkward little face as while shouting, I'm going to start a fight. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes it me says, really happy. It says, all while inexplicably staring out at a yacht, mind you. So <laughs> I think, mean, like, homework, we all have to watch these terrible videos. <laughs> okay. I've never seen a kid's bot video. I guess they make music videos to go with them, too. This is news to wow. me. Wow. I didn't realize that it was such a big thing. <laughs> I feel like I've seen they they did a video for thrift shop, which okay. was just a bunch of kids wearing faux mink coats and shit. Okay, <laughs> well, Macklemore is kind of the kids' bop of rappers. Yeah, I can see that. You know, mm. I just realized um, the band Ninja Sex Party is the opposite is the polar opposite to kids' bop because they just yeah. say they say incoherent things, but they put curse words into it. So like one of the, the there's a song by them where they just go rock fuck instead of fuck yeah yeah they'll be a, like or like hell yeah or anything like that they'll be like rock fuck that's the that's the thing that they say rock fuck rock fuck. and they Don't. market the kids <laughs> <laughs> Don't they, fuck a rock they kind of do <laughs> <laughs> I mean the Game Grumps demographic does uh, lean pretty low. If you're so. a fan of Aaron Hansen, we'll get a load of this, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hello, fellow kids. Which one is your favorite Backstreet's boy? <laughs> Backstreet's boy. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. Nobody type that into Google. I- I'm going to is right it a different when thing? I'm editing this podcast probably. later. It's probably just porn. You know what? Guys, we never set an alarm for this. You know what? (laughs) Let's just go ahead and call it unless anyone has anything else to say. What is on Kids Bop 2020? Old Town Road, Don't Call Me Up, Senorita, I Don't Care. Of course. Seven Rings, I don't know any of these songs. Sunflower, uh, Without Me. Yeah, that's from the Spidersmans. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, I know that Mm -hmm. one. Without Me, Just Got Paid, Somebody You Loved beautiful people is that the marilyn manson one i hope so i really <laughs> it hope can't so be. it can't be but i hope it is because that would be amazing by the way the number one cringiest kids bop video is kryptonite by three doors down <laughs> <laughs> oh that kind of gives me life because the video itself was cringy like the original yeah well imagine that video but a bunch of kids doing it no i i mean sad thing is i very much can <laughs> Ugh, yeah, kids bought. What are you doing? They must be making money some way. <laughs> By selling on uh, Nickelodeon. Just selling to parents a bunch are of like, carrots. oh, I can trust that to be wholesome in words, but not in content. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's just a bunch of Karens fucking buying shit so they don't have to listen Whoa, to Whoa, using like, the kids case music. slur on here? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> All right. Bring well. me the Jairus. <laughs> Guys, uh, I don't know what else we can talk about. Is that about your Joker impression? <laughs> Clutch. <laughs> I we wasn't really going for anything. Man. We but... live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. I want to see the kids bop call me maybe, which is exactly the same. Beautiful.
You got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat Wave. Today, I want to ask you guys, which band do you want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Can it be well, the I just finished Kids watching band? Surviving. <laughs> I just finished watching Surviving R. Kelly, so I kind of want to fight R. Kelly now. Ooh, yeah, that's a. Mm-hmm. That yeah, was a yeah rough... sign me up for that one. <laughs> that, like, let's all just gang up on R. Kelly. All right, well, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was a super rough documentary. I watched that too. Um,. And that's definitely why you, most of the time I feel like I can separate an artist from their art. Um, but that's one that I go back and it feels really icky. Yeah. Especially like oh, our favorite song by him is so fucking creepy now. Yeah, now it's super creepy with the context of it. Like uh, is it I used to love grind? No. no uh, remix to Ignition. Mm. Uh, and there was always a line that I never really understood, but I never really thought about it. But where he says, hot and fresh out the kitchen. And I'm like, oh, he means that she's young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he means that she's a middle schooler. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, that's really yeah. gross now. I hate it. So Undercooked buns over there. <sighs> yep. Um, Y'all, apparently it's really easy to start a sex cult. Yeah. You know? Like, that's what I'm learning from watching Tiger King and then surviving R. Kelly back to back. All you have to do is target, like, oppressed groups of people. Or people either oppressed or like people who are like like how Tiger King rolled up to the bus station was like, all right, which of which of you guys are getting out of jail and need a job because you got no place to go? Who's on meth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vulnerable populations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I was Grody. still like floored by seeing um, the actress who played. I don't know if you guys watch Smallville, but um, Allison mm-hmm. Mack played one of the characters on there, and she got caught up in. She is a big part of a sex cult, too. Yeah, yeah. A Hollywood sex cult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't know if it was specifically Hollywood, but... It was Hollywood-based, I believe. Yeah. But, yeah. The, uh, hey, I want to fight everyone, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just ready to go down. He's just like, all right. I shaved my goatee for this. You can't grab nothing. <laughs> um, I want to fight Aerosmith. Oh, that's a good one. Steven, oh, yeah, they're old. Steven Tyler's face is so ugly. I'm, I'm going to go even <laughs> older. I don't want to punch him. <laughs> I want to fight the Rolling Stones. And I want to I want to hit like Mick Jagger. Yeah. Um, yeah. I and mean, you want to shout who now who has moves like Jagger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's a lot of bands that I want to fight. Like, I still want to fight Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses. Mm-hmm. Mm. I want to fight Limp Bizkit. <laughs> That's he, a good one. <laughs> yeah, he's still causing me trauma. Uh, <laughs> I think what? the bassist would probably take all of us, though. The one with the weird eye. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. West Borland? I don't... Maybe. <laughs> he was the guitarist or bassist. Yeah, you usually wore contacts. But, mm. yeah, after, like, the, the bullshit that they, they pulled, like, having fans, like, submit, like, songs and then stealing them is like, like, mm-hmm. fuck you guys. Mm-hmm. Like, Wait, what? Real? I didn't know about that. Yeah, tell us about that. What? <laughs> tell us about this, Hutch. Tell us why you want to fight Limp Bizkit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. I, I totally <laughs> because forget they the, ruined the full biscuits? context of, it, of the situation. But they had, like, some sort of, like... Contest where fans could submit songs, but they had like um, a special clause that said that like the band could like use um, their shit like if they wanted to, and apparently they did for at Jesus. least some of it. That's amazing. You know, I find a lot of contests were like that. Uh-huh. Like a couple years ago, uh, DMC, which is like a major cross stitching supplier, they did a contest where they were like, "Hey, come up with a great pattern, and we won't give you anything, but we'll make your pattern into a thing and we'll sell it." <laughs> <laughs> it's for exposure. Yeah, and everyone was super fucking pissed, and all of the patterns they submitted with the hashtag was just like pay artists, uh, you know, artists I have exposure, things like that. Yeah, uh, and it was really fantastic. And DMC was like, okay, we'll change it to like I forget. They were like five hundred dollars for the winner, but everyone was already like, fuck you guys. Um, and they were yeah. like, "Fuck your contest!" But it was the same thing where they were going to take. They were going to get a ton of free 
uh, cross stitch patterns that they were going to be able to sell. It was the same like deal, uh, and the winner wasn't going to get shit. So it was like I don't know what it is with people doing that lately. They like really take advantage of artists. So I guess not lately. It's always been a I thing. Mean, but there's always going to be been, people yeah. <clears throat> with lesser uh, 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 possibilities and opportunities. And people with uh, no talent and all the money are going to take advantage of it. Yeah. I found out that Chris Brown did something similar to that. Um, not recently, I guess. Maybe it was some time ago on Instagram. He basically lifted um, a uh, drawing from an artist and then edited the drawing, to, you know, elements of it to, I guess, fit whatever he was, like, trying to, like, um, convey. Uh, and then... The, the artist called him out, and then he replied back to him, Fuck you, no one cares about some Instagram pic. Um, wow. Shut up. Yeah, that sounds uh, like and, Chris and Brown. Like, like, it's like, dude, I already hate you because of, like... The whole Rihanna you, thing. What, the whole Rihanna situation, but, I mean, you just... Man. Anyway. Well, we should also fight Chris Brown, too, then. <clears throat> yeah, I think we should all fight Chris Brown. I would really love to just, like, break his teeth with my hand. Yeah. Like, I want the satisfaction <laughs> of feeling his bones break under my hands. <laughs> I feel like we're going to take me, out our really quarantine feel. frustrations on this so, topic. <laughs> so I've been trying to convince Brittany to get into, like, kickboxing class or something for a while now. She's full of, full of isolation rage. <laughs> yeah, well, that, like, before we were isolated, I've been just been, like, she's got, like, some, like, pent up rage that i feel like you need to hit things <laughs> hit things that i'm allowed to hit <laughs> yeah like and not michelle i mean thankfully she never hits me but <laughs> listen michelle blink twice if she hits you okay no what's really what's really nice <laughs> oh is- that was a strong deflection now i'm concerned greater I have a greater concern for your well-being. Well, see, what I'm going to say now is that since I've started just, transitioning... Just call me C and pretend actually... like you're ordering a pizza. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm driving by. Just just jump in the car. We'll, we'll, we'll run out of here. <laughs> so, Every time she talks to the doctor on the phone, they grill her about domestic abuse and if like I hit her. <laughs> yeah, every time. Where did you get these bruises? I'm clumsy. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, sure. Here, here's the thing. Like... Now, Brittany probably could beat me up. Like, uh, she's the one that I opens mean, let's be shit. real. She's always been able to. Uh, she could hit. She can take hits, but she couldn't give them. I kind of had to teach her how to punch. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find that out? Well, we got drunk one New Year's Eve. It was... Okay, so you need to put some context into this. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah! It was... <laughs> We were at a friend's like a lot. We were at a friend's house uh, for New Year's Eve. We all, all of us, like a big group of us, were all pretty drunk. We go downstairs <clears throat> to their basement, and they had a pair of boxing gloves. And me and this other friend, um, we were like, you know, it'd be really funny. I've never punched with one of these before. Let's let's do it. But we have to put one arm behind our back because we only have one pair. And then we'll mm. switch um, halfway through because like one of us has to use the dominant hand and the other one has to use like the less dominant <laughs> hand. It was, it was like a super dumb idea. So me and my friend are just like going ham on each other. And she gets really frustrated with me and just ends up punching me in the face with her, like, ungloved fist. <laughs> but I was just like, yeah! I was, like, super into it. <laughs> and then Michelle was like, let me try. And then Michelle puts the glove on, and I just bought Michelle right in the nose with the with the gloved hand. And we, just, we were just messing around. It wasn't, like, a, a real fight or anything. Like, we were laughing the whole time. Yeah, no. No one was angry. <laughs> no one was crying. But that's how I learned how to punch. That was the first time I ever punched somebody because i was also like i've never punched anyone before i want to try mm-hmm. but we'll do it with these gloves on so i don't actually hurt you but i think i might have hurt a couple of friends uh, yeah, also yeah. Drunk- he strikes me as a bat person <laughs> like someone who would use a bat rather than hitting yeah <clears throat> how do you feel about that yeah maybe i was a I rock know, i could see you taking the clever approach and using mechanical <laughs> advantage to benefit you i think it depends on how angry i am so, so um, I used to get in a lot of fights when I was younger, and I used leverage um, was my tool always. Um, that was your simple fighting tool? Yeah, so... One- <laughs> I prefer the pulley, but... <laughs> hey, they can't fight if they're off guard. Well, yeah, well, this uh, the 
probably the most damage I caused someone was when I was four years old, this 12 year old was trying to fight me and chase me. And, um, I chased him. He chased me around the, uh, the playground and whatnot. And he lost track of me. He came around this corner and I just tripped him and like classic, like Looney Tunes, put your foot out, trip him kind of thing. <clears throat> Uh, but that's I didn't not realize, a fight, like, really. Uh, uh, well, there was fighting before that. That's like, a that's I, a Metal Gear Solid mission. I, I kicked him in the nuts <laughs> when he pulled me off the swing. So there was a fight before mm. that too. Uh, mm. But <clears throat> I finished the fight by tripping him and his head hitting a cement uh, uh, bench. So now he's a now he's a sweet kid. Yeah, uh, he wasn't. He tried to fight me again like six years later. Now he's a lead singer of Creed. <laughs> 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 We're arms wide open. That's who I want to fight. Creed. Creed. <laughs> More like my ears wide open. Am I right? I don't know. They're Canadian, <laughs> so they've probably been in some hockey fights before. Yeah, maybe. Well, uh, just just the lead singer then. Mm. I can handle one hockey player. <laughs> uh. Do you know that from experience, or are you just speculating? Speculation. <laughs> I don't know, man. The hockey player is going to have their uh, their skate. So they've already got a weapon on. They just always you. carry it around with them. Just, <laughs> just one always. Of them. Perfect. Hey, man, you'll never know when you got to drop the puck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how about you, Jairus? Uh, did you give us a band that you would want to fight? Uh, R. Kelly, but I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I think a fight with someone like uh, Weird Al would be really interesting. It'd be entertaining. At the very like, least. If it, was, if it was a good-natured fight, I'd choose Weird Al. Okay. But if it wasn't a good-natured, I would not choose Weird Al because I bet he is a scrappy motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's tall. <laughs> he's, he's a vegan. and he, He's got the reach. Yeah. <laughs> he's not going to have the he's meat got the accordion to strength. slow down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> the accordion strength. He'll run with scissors. <laughs> he has. <laughs> oh man. Um, so yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Smash like and subscribe. <laughs> what if What t- if we just say YouTube. we like want to fight like a Magfest artist? <laughs> <laughs> like I want to fight the DJ super, Supersonic, the Super Guitar Bros, <laughs> <laughs> or like that one kid who had his 3ds and was just like mm, 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 on stage, and yeah. that was it. Like yeah. I definitely want to fight that him. That guy, I don't know. Who I he definitely is. want to fight him. <laughs> Too mellow. I want you. <laughs> Just someone like just all of the game chops. <laughs> Put the just game chops in a bag, and I'm gonna punch it. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna include all this. <laughs> all right, Are I'm you trying to get all of the game chops to jump me? Yes. <laughs> I just thought it would be fun to fight our friends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fight them. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. Cool. Smash. Smash like now. Smash comment. Now. Smash subscribe. Bomb the bell. <laughs> the bomb it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is your ASMR audio right I know, here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I just I just let's just make a video let's make a video of just yours going. <laughs> 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 just, just make uh free alarms. Yeah, I'm um, <laughs> <laughs> Free alarms. <laughs> Download this alarm now. Want to see us perform live? Use that big brand of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. All right. Hey, welcome back. Um, so I would like to pose a question, a scenario, uh, rather. Seven. That that's a that's a respectful answer. Um, <laughs> what about you, Brittany? Um, sandwich. Ooh, good answer. That's a great answer. <laughs> but but what's in the sandwich? What kind of sandwich? Um, it's a Italian slammer. <laughs> it's got From like Pizza John. A, a, a prison Italian sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's that- got just pepperoni and marinara sauce. <laughs> Cold bars. <laughs>
I would, it's I would... just wet bread with pepperoni. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, I think you'd have to sell it for ketchup in the slammer, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Ooh. <laughs> what about you, Michelle? Uh, <laughs> penguin. Feet. Okay. Great. All right. Well, thanks a lot for hanging out, guys. Um, yeah, smash <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Finger see guns. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Next week. Uh, okay. So the scenario is uh, you are standing across from someone else that is of uh, the exact same stature as you are, same size. Um, oh, I should also preface. Uh, I'm borrowing this. Topic are we from talking height, length, or girth? All, all that. Mm. Um, so just equal footing against that other person. Uh, I'm also stealing this from the giant bomb cast, by the way, so credit to them. Um, you are given a choice of either an aluminum bat or a um, a non-serrated knife, um, knowing that your opponent will have the uh, other option available to them. So which do you choose? Aluminum bat. Yeah, I choose the bat. Serrated <laughs> knife. It's One. non-serrated. <laughs> non-serrated. <laughs> non-serrated. <laughs> so is it sharp? Yes. It's okay. a knife. A bat is longer than a knife. Mm-hmm. And also, uh, as a tall person, a person of equal size would also be an ogre, and giant's weakness is their knees. <laughs> so I'm going to go for those knees ASAP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going with the, the bat because you could knock the knife out of their hand with... Mm. The bat. And you could do a lot of damage with, like, a bat to a head versus a knife. Like, chances are, getting stabbed, you're not going to (laughs) die. At least not immediately. If they just get one stab in, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you hit the artery, but chances are you're trying to cut someone who's moving. Um, Yeah, I I would take the bat. I think I could do more damage with the bat. What up, bat fam? I think I would go knife. Um, Yeah. Because I feel like... I, I feel like you're underestimating just how much, like, actually getting stabbed would really fuck with you. And would really... Like, so, so there's also, you know, if you're attacking with a bat, you're going to be less limble, or less nimble, rather, than you would be with, you know, knife going... Bah, 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 bah. So, uh, I think you can do I a lot more damage a lot quicker. I don't want to be hit by a bat swung by a person my size. <laughs> So, fun fact, I have been hit by a bat by a person your size. That's have not- you also been stabbed? Yes. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> No, you haven't. I have been Fucking lo- show off. No, I have been in a lot of fights You've when I lived in Florida. You've not been stabbed. I am a Florida... All post- right, we get it. Michelle's <laughs> tough. <laughs> No. Up on the mean streets of Florida, riding boxcars back and forth like some sort of fucking boxcar yeah, children. Yeah, and fucking... <laughs> You can Michelle, stop you drinking, drinking banana Slurpees and getting in knife fights. <laughs> yeah, you can stop a bat with your hand. <laughs> you can stop a knife with your hand that just goes into it. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. So I want the knife. <laughs> I'm not scared of getting stabbed, though. You should be. I am scared to get hit with a bat. <laughs> Brittany's not scared of dying. <laughs> a bat is a She'll lot take e- you out with her. She's going to alligator death roll with you. <laughs> a bat is so large, and the tell for where it's going to go is so obvious, it's way easier to dodge than a knife is. A dodge is, uh, a knife uh, is sneaky. You don't know exactly where <laughs> that person's going. fights <laughs> over here. No one knows exactly I where that person's going. I disagree. I, the I disagree. <laughs> It's yeah. just way easier to tell where uh, a big ass bat is going to end up than it is a knife. I think we should go get a foam bat, a foam knife, and we should <laughs> back this out because I bet I could beat you with a bat. <laughs> and you would not get a chance to stab me before I knock it out of your hand. I think First you're, of all, you're not taking into the consideration the fact that <laughs> she can throw the knife at you. Oh, okay. I no, you have to be trained. Like, is this you do not need you have to be trained. trained to throw, or yeah, at least practice to throw. A knife. I have gotten lucky in a fight before. Have, several have times. you ever thrown a frisbee? It's just like that. <laughs> <laughs> it always goes on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. I throw it at that forty-five angle, and it would just boomerang back like a fucking frisbee. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm so- <laughs> <laughs> but 
no, I'm team knife. Uh, it's a lot easier to dodge a bat than it is a knife. And knives, when they hit you, you can continue to hit real close and uh, get in there and you've done fucked up that person up. A knife is way more dangerous than a bat. Uh, I don't think so. No, no, I would have concern if <clears throat> the bat person decided to not go into swinging mode, but in, rather went into um, double dual-handed mode. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas they're just they're they're using the bat as more like a, a yeah. s- big stick to kind of like fuck with you, you know. That that's where I could see it being more clo- uh, closer to a bat being more, you know, more. I'm aggressive. on the bat squad. Yeah, so I'm with on the, the, bat, the bat, it it can deal with more punishment, like it it can take more damage. Like you could snap a knife, you could like bend it. Oh yeah, you could, <laughs> bend, <laughs> you could bend it. A knife only works in one direction. A bat works in all directions. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think y'all are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> y'all are going to get Doctor later this year. In this situation, y'all are going to get killed. No, and- later this year, we're going to reenact <laughs> this with foam props, and-, and which is not the equivalent. I know at it's all. not the equivalent, but still, we- like- <laughs> two foam things is not the equivalent of a heavy thing and a small sharp. Oh, thing. you want to make this real then? <laughs> yeah, we can make it real. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> I just got that new health insurance. Let's- Let's celebrate with a knife bat fight. <laughs> I'm just saying the elements involved are not so, the same. Brittany, how did you get this injury? You see, me and my partner got into a knife bat fight. It was purely academic. Really. That was for our internet podcast. Don't worry about it. I got stabbed, it. but she got dead. <laughs> Once you're like... The bat has one chance. If the bat fucks up, they're done. The how bat is, doesn't yeah, have one how chance. How is the bat going to get inside the bat? They're done. Get inside the bat. You can still bat. be hit with a bat in the back. Yeah, you but can the, still be hit but the, the, um, with a the, bat uh, in the, the leg. But the amount of t- uh, space that you have to hit at that point is next to nothing compared to being stabbed you, multiple times. Michelle, you have a lot you of faith to in your ability close. to close distance. You have to get so I've done close. It. <laughs> you have to get so close to stab somebody versus Michelle a bat. stabbed three, four men in <laughs> her time. Where she just I have fought she someone confesses. with a bat and then picked them up and throw them over a wall and put them into ICU. <laughs> I know it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Also, like how upset you're getting too. Like, like the, you guys are not understanding how easy it is to avoid a bat. It is the most obvious fucking thing. Okay, going maybe to you could avoid a bat when you were eight years old. You're right, but I don't think you can now. Now you're a slow ass now, adult. Now you're like, oh, I'm to tie my fucking shoes. <laughs> That's why you have slip-on shoes because you can't tie your shoes. <laughs> I took five quick steps and now I'm wheezing. I used to do all kinds of crazy shit when I was a kid, but now I'm like, whoa, gotta check the mail. And I still <laughs> Which is more reason to choose the knife. It's way Michelle easier. Michelle thinks use. she's gonna Naruto jump 30 feet in the air and do a flip around the bat. I don't, I don't think you guys understand and how land easy in a stabbing it, motion. I don't think you but guys really. Uh, the, the momentum of a bat has to be stopped for you to be able to change direction, and that takes way more time than it does to change the direction of a knife. I'm going to change the direction with my bat once I've hit you in the head and you're, you're on the ground. You're going to be dead because you're, sl- <laughs> you're fucking throat slit. <laughs> you're not going to be able to get close enough to slit my throat. It literally just takes one dodge. <laughs> I don't think it. so. It's so Just easy. one dodge. It takes one dodge. <laughs> Prove it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, like this is the <laughs> dumbest. <laughs> this is the dumbest fight ever. The knife is I'm gonna hit you with a fucking choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hutch, you lifted this question from another podcast. Did it go as well on that podcast as it is now? <laughs> it totally went several episodes with more readers kept on going in. <laughs> This, uh, it, uh, it, it went just as well as this. It's so good. I, I'll, I'll link you to the discussion if you're curious. Yeah, I need the link so we can at least put it in the description of I this think, episode. I think the problem is that Michelle is assuming that it's going to be a full on baseball bat swing. Like you're standing at home plate and swinging at a yeah. fucking knife. Have you ever fought someone nerd? with a bat? 
Yeah, it's fucking hard. Yeah, I have too, and it's always a fucking baseball. He swing. banged me against my shin, and I was down. I was down, and he was on top. When, when did this happen? In middle school. Oh yeah. I went to tackle this kid because I like to bully him, <laughs> and he banged me with a metal bat in my shin, and it like boinked off my leg, and I crumpled on the ground. Yeah, that shit hurts. Yeah. Don't get hit by a bat. Exactly. That's why I picked the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, I think Michelle's making our point for us, my but point can't is, recognize that she no, is. She's making your, no, your, but you're knives. making my point. But knives, though. You're making my point. Don't get hit by the bat. <laughs> it's easy to dodge. It yeah, wasn't that's for way me. easier said than done. <laughs> yes, it is way easier done than you guys are implying. <laughs> it is so easy to see where the trajectory of a bat is more than a knife. Yeah, you just have to go into the math universe and and visualize the angles. Okay, unless they're going to fucking like treat it like something to where they're not going to give you so much of a read on it, which is not going to hurt as much as which is not going to stop you as much. It, the way to make a bat worthwhile is you're going to have to put some effort into it, and you're going to have to see which what if it has nails in it. Oh, then that actually makes a lot more of a difference, but that's not the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely changes the conversation, yeah. <laughs> Michelle's basing this off of, like, the two uh, WrestleManias that she's watched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Listen, no. listen, a bat wrapped in barbed wire is not as dangerous as a table. Like, you, you, you have to understand that. That's No, I agree with you on that one. A bat was way more dangerous than a table. So this was fun. <laughs> uh, do you have anything to add to this? <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, if I'm going by Final Fantasy... Um, <laughs> Uh, logic. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so there is an item that is just a a nail bat. <laughs> Compared to the other big <clears throat> knives that you could swing around, it's nowhere near as good. So there. Yeah, but have you ever <laughs> seen Paranoia Agent? No. <clears throat> yeah, little slugger just fucks everybody up. <laughs> You'll have to. Send no, I, like a bat is ex like bludgeoning is ex super effective. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I just think if it's one on one, you're both prepared. You both equal footing and size and everything. And like <clears throat> if I'm fighting myself, then I don't know because I would be. I still would prefer. What if it's a clone of you? I would still prefer yeah. to have the knife. No, like it is you with your knowledge <laughs> and understanding. I still would prefer the knife. They're way harder so, to dodge. So that version of Michelle knows that you're expecting everything to be a big baseball swing. So but she's going to pull in tight and I, like work work the joints, throw you off, mm -hmm. and you've just got a knife. Yeah. I still think I could outwit myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still smarter than myself. <laughs> I'm smarter than me. <laughs> Nobody's got a big brain like me. <laughs> Not even me. I'm smart, I think smarter, smarter than, than the myself. Bat. So, uh. <laughs> I feel like now it's just got to the point where, like, you, you just... have so much pride that you, even if we convince you otherwise, you're not going to change your answer. It, I don't think you could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know that's the truth, Brittany. <laughs> I feel like We've that... both known Michelle long enough to know this. <laughs> That she's chosen this hill to die on. It doesn't matter yeah. if we, like... The knife hill. You, you guys say that without considering, like, I feel like you guys were also just as sure of your own answers as I am. I mean, if you could convince me otherwise, but so far you haven't. You've just been saying... <laughs> and you're not able to You don't know what it's me, like so to get stabbed with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just as bad at this as I am. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna There's have to. There's just two of you. I'm just gonna have and to Hutch prove is being it. Quiet. I'm gonna have to prove it by fighting you. Well, Hutch's strategy is just to aim us at a concept and then to check his email. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Hutch is multitasking. He's got things to do today. <laughs> Hutch is on slick deals. This episode brought to you by Slick Deals. <laughs> Guys, you can get the Surface keyboard for fifty bucks. That is a great deal. <laughs> Oh, I love it. This was a good one. <laughs> well, Hutch, do you have anything yeah. to add to this? Or does anyone else have anything to add to this? Final thoughts? 
go knives. <laughs> Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> Be careful out there. <laughs> Watch out for the knives. <laughs> Be careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to duck under the baseball swing. <laughs> be, be careful to check the trajectory of the baseball bat coming at your face. <laughs> like in the show numbers. Just like your uh, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Being a big old fight boy. I don't know. Just thinking of a fight boy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Welcome back. Uh, today, yes. I want to talk about with the re- recent release of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 announcement uh, and everyone losing their fucking mind over the soundtrack to those games and the fact that there's some songs going to be missing from it. I want to talk about what soundtrack uh, with various artists from a video game is as beloved or as important as the Tony Hawk Pro Skater franchise. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Well, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 is what I'm talking about. You but mean yes. um, a soundtrack that we personally like? Personally, or? but I'm also thinking like big picture. Like what's, what's a, uh, a – not just like soundtrack. And I'm not talking like – original soundtracks like bastion or whatever i'm talking about what collection of hit songs there is there is one answer Mm -hmm. and that is (laughs) deus ex human revolution (laughs) which has the best soundtrack of all time (laughs) and you are required by our the contract (laughs) of our friendship (laughs) to respond in the affirmative to that cheers i thought about this all day (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> should have told them that and Deus Ex was off the table and no I'm just so happy that I set this up for you and you knocked it right down <laughs> oh, you're welcome <laughs> so besides Deus Ex what is the best oh uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution the sequel to Deus Ex mm-hmm so both of those are original soundtracks. I'm talking about something with a uh, a variety of songs, you know, of, of various artists on it. I never it. really played. So most of the games that are like have random ass like mm-hmm. artists on it are like skating games, racing games, things mm-hmm. like that. I never really played a lot of those. Okay. Crazy mm-hmm. Taxi, I guess, has I, yeah. offspring on it. I mean that that no yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 that. I will say that Crazy Taxi without the offspring is not Crazy Taxi. Yeah. Like, they are attached. It's just Taxi. It's just Taxi. (laughs) Taxi. (laughs) It's perfect. Well, I actually posed this question on Twitter, and I've got a few other examples from some other people. Oh, she's like, you guys didn't give me good enough answers, so I'm going to read. I mean, unless you guys have some more. That's good. He's trying to do Yesterday I Asked You. (laughs) PewDiePie does that. Come on. The real answer is the Fallout (laughs) games. Yes. Now, that is a great uh, that was one of the ones. That's I was an gonna... acceptable answer to yes. you, knife fighter. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you. What about Bioshock Infinite? Like the weird pop songs that are in it. I on think the that's, edge. Uh, that's on the edge. But I'm I like sorry. it. I don't have anything to contribute to this. That's I don't re- think. Well, I think you just did. I have some original, <laughs> original soundtracks, but dance, dance, revolution, extreme. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. You're not wrong. Rock band. I, 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 I'm a little butterfly. Yeah, yeah, rock band. <laughs> there we Guitar go. Hero. So here, here's some other examples. Guitar of- Hero ACD edition. <laughs> Not here's really. some here's some examples that I've got that are pretty much definitive with the games that they're a part of, and uh, are much beloved by people who've played them. So Hotline Miami, uh, mm-hmm. GTA Vice City, the Wipeout franchise. Uh, Little Big Planet one specifically. <clears throat> Did that one? I thought that was original songs. Mm-mm, you remember? Well, that was the one that had that uh, song that made us even buy the whole game. That Sleepyhead song. You said Little Big Planet two. No, I said Little Big Planet one. Well, that was an advert for Little, Little Big, Big Planet, Planet two. 
Well, they both have like <laughs> songs by like a variety of artists. They all do original that. songs though. The artists yeah. made for the not uh, the no, game. Oh, so we're game. saying it, they it has to have multiple artists. Yeah, I said uh, various but not artists songs multiple times that were made specifically for the game. They are already songs that play on the radio. Yeah, it's basically just. All, I like, really a hot wish mix. you hadn't have said that last sentence, Brittany, because I was looking up Deus Ex Human Revolution <laughs> to figure out if there are other artists featured on it so that I could bring it back in. I mean, I'm assuming that's what you're talking about, Yes, right? that's what I'm talking Just about. Just songs that were already out there. Yeah, and hit like, songs that are basically a mixtape for a soundtrack for a I video don't, game. I don't think Little Big Planet I think Little Big Planet, all those songs were made for it, though. No, not all of them. Sleepyhead was a hit before it was a part of that uh, game. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay. So your word on it. Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, like, some other ones are like Jet Set Radio. Those were all individual songs beforehand. One person was like NBA 2K, and I was like, which one? But they didn't reply. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then yeah, Vice City, uh, Wipeout 3, and Fallout all got mentioned. So, hmm. but yeah, for me, um, uh, good like, talk. The the Tony Hawk <laughs> Pro Skater franchise is still like the end all be all of like variety of artists that like define the game and the feeling behind it i think jairus actually came up with probably like the second best choice in my opinion which is fallout fallout has a very defined sense of place based on the music yeah like there's a reason why like the soundtrack to each fallout game is such a big deal is because it defines how the game is going to feel Hmm. specifically of course they went with you know fallout 76 for example went with goddamn crunchy roads like it was a big you say crunchy Crunchy roads crunchy (laughs) roads you said crunchy roads uh crunchy roads (laughs) crunchy roads take me peanut butter (laughs) well if they have smooth roads personally excuse me i need some crunch berries with that (laughs) watch out you might you might (laughs) captain crunch might come out and out of the vault and get you what <laughs> what the fuck are you saying did did captain crunch get stuck in the disney vault by mistake or something <laughs> yeah that's what i'm trying to that's the uh, story i'm trying to paint here great yeah <sighs> you know guys... oh sorry go ahead i really like the need for speed underground soundtracks uh um, okay i forget which one specifically well, there's one and two, so either or. Let's yeah, say they kind of, they kind of like they both have that Fast and Furious vibe about them. Mm-hmm. Um, Brutal Legends got a lot of good rock to it too. Oh yeah, like, well, I mean, they fucking had Ozzy Osbourne and Judas Priest as play, not playable, but like as NPC characters in the game. Mm-hmm. Which was pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, having having uh, a game about metal with actual metalheads in it. Good choice. I didn't think about Brutal Legends. Yeah. I might have cheated I just a little bit. really played any <laughs> games. I always look, like, whenever you ask me to game question, I always am gazing at our shelf. That's why I'm always, like, looking in the middle distance. But <laughs> I I don't think I've ever really played any games that had, like, hit songs on it, though. Well, that makes sense. Like, most of the games you play are, like, <clears throat> Nintendo games, really. Yeah, you play baby games. They just have baby sounds on them, just children giggling. Well, that's why we talked about Kids Pop earlier. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I know that see, was now Jairus' topic. <laughs> no, I thought Michelle was going to ask us what our favorite hidden skaters on Tony Hawk Pro Skater were. Well, fuck it. Let's go um, that direction. And I'm very disappointed that it wasn't that. Well, now it is. What's your favorite hidden skater in Tony Hawk Pro Skater? Spider-Man. Yep. That's the best choice. Spider-Man's in Tony Hawk? Yeah, you can play as... My favorite one is to play as him in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X. And if you do that, you can actually have Spider-Man go into space. That's fucking crazy. That's pretty good. Oh. He has a really rad move where he throws his skateboard away and then webs it back to him. It's mm-hmm. the yeah. best. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, can I... play as the hand in Tony Hawk's Underground 2, which so, is just a hand on is a it, skateboard. Isn't Wolverine in one of them, too? I don't remember. Uh, I know. 
I'm just going to look up all the secret <laughs> We just sent you guys my favorite skating game. Oh, okay. We'll put Shrek it is available in Tony Hawk <laughs> Underground 2. Yes! <laughs> BRB. <laughs> Shrek run. Uh, by the way, Brittany just put in a meme that is pretty fantastic. I'm going to put it on the screen. It's her favorite it game. Meme? It's my favorite game. <laughs> it's her favorite skateboarding game. Suburban skating. Yep. My favorite player is the kid at school who says he can kick flip. <laughs> uh, for me, it's, uh, for me it's, it's other Mike. Daniel's older brother. <laughs> <laughs> like the featuring tall middle schoolers. <laughs> to a soundtrack with swears. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So no kids bop. No, no kids bop. bop on that one. Damn. God, that's Snack that's class. mini game. Such a classic. Five, five unique <laughs> driveways. <laughs> 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 yeah, that is like one of the most pristine, best like memes ever. I love it so much. Oh, it's really good. Thank you so much for blessing my day with oh, us. Oh, so Brittany's mm. going to probably pop in a couple more. Oh, you're welcome. This was in context to um, everyone at work was tagging everyone saying, what are your four like games that shaped you into the gamer you are, I guess? And these were the ones I put in. They're all fake because that's how it be. <laughs> Brittany doesn't know how to do a sincere post about anything. Crab Wars. <laughs> these are my four that I put in. <laughs> <laughs> And then Swamp I just butter. said, um, I quoted Ariana Grande, and I said, one taught me love, one taught me patience, and one taught me pain. Now I'm so amazing. <laughs> 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 and it was mildly successful with 10 likes. <laughs> hey, in Michelle's gr- world, that's a, that's a <clears throat> S plus tweet. <laughs> Unusual like, friendship touched the victory. You know, wow. I, I like how this podcast is basically turned into, hey, let's get Brittany and Jared to just shit on Michelle for an hour. I just <laughs> slam like, dunked you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, dunk it on you. When you have when you have Shaq and Kobe on the field, rest in peace. <laughs> you're gonna get dunked on. <laughs> Always a touchdown. <laughs> okay, which one of you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back it up. Which one of you is Shaq and which one of you is Kobe? Obviously, I'm Kobe. I'd say that I'm Shaq <laughs> because I understand business, much like Sha- Shaq, who has a MBA. Okay. okay. Um, and Brittany is Kobe because she's got a lot of beef. <laughs> That joke is it's true. <laughs> and she died in a helicopter. I died in a helicopter. <laughs> ghost Brittany. What if this was a ghost podcast? <laughs> Sounds like you're in topic for next week. <laughs> hey, you know what? L- live your dreams, Brittany. Maybe, live your dreams. maybe, maybe next week we will be a b- ghost podcast. Maybe. All right. Well, you know what? With that, bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye. All right. Michelle, I'm sorry that we said that a bat <laughs> would beat a knife. I, I didn't know you would take it so personally. Smash like and subscribe. <laughs> knife that bell. Good times. <laughs> Perfect.